We've got Bobby here from Greece. He was a stray dog and was sent by a Greek animal welfare society to an animal care organization here in Berlin. I own Micah from Spain, who we picked up directly from a killing station. The traditional high-risk regions are all the Mediterranean countries and also southeastern and eastern Europe. In all these areas, heartworm disease can be transformed by mosquitoes. Before we got the final diagnosis, we surfed the internet. And if you search for info on heartworms, you find horrifying pictures and also some really sad stories. So at first we were naturally devastated because we thought there was no way he would survive that. Heartworm infection in dogs, also known as canine dirofiliriosis, is so dangerous because the worm set up home in the heart, which can cause heart failure, i.e. cardiac insufficiency, which may show no symptoms at all, but can also lead to severe heart disease and even death. Herzinsuffizienz und Tod führen. Dirofiliriosis is very difficult and expensive to treat and harbors certain risks. After he had been given antibiotics over a long period, he got two relatively strong injections. After the first one, he was in an awful state because he was in extreme pain. He was lying around the whole time and kept falling over. We were really afraid. The first time, she also cried extremely loud. The next occasion, she already knew what was coming and was trembling the whole time. There haven't been any advances in this field for ages. We're still using a preparation that is poorly tolerated, and it's also very painful to use. It has to be injected very deeply into the dog's back muscles. That can be very, very irritant, can lead to necrosis of the skin, and is excruciatingly painful, as I said. My siblings and I always had a dog. We basically grew up with one. He's certainly part of the family. Maybe not like a child, but a member of the family for sure.